Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with Germany. Uh, so before we get started, I'd like to mention one thing that I have not mentioned in the, the first three videos. I, I typically do. I, th I thought I had mentioned in the first episode. I, I try and mention it at the end of the first episode now. Uh, but maybe I forgot in this series. Uh, but I had somebody ask me about, about links. Uh, all the links uh, for anything, that hopefully for anything that you may uh, be looking for for our channel are in the description of any of our videos. So if you're looking for our Twitter or Facebook, you know, social media, Instagram, something like that, then those are down in the description. Uh, also, uh, if you're looking to support the channel, uh, PayPal, Patreon, all that kind of stuff uh, is in uh, the links as well. And then finally, uh, our Discord channel. Uh, we have a Discord, about 160 or so uh, people. And I'd uh, love to see you guys on that, see that, that grow. Uh, so that's in the description too. So pretty much anything, if there's not a, a link in the description, then uh, let me know so I can add it. So yeah, I had somebody ask about that and I, I thought I'd mentioned it in the series and apparently I hadn't. So, so yeah, there you go. Uh, so I'll put it in there in the beginning of the video so if anybody's wondering, they should now know. All right, so let's get started. I guess the first thing we should do before we continue with our uh, helping out in China is let's go ahead and get this tank assigned. Uh, I'll put them over here for right now. We're not really being picky about where we assign them and stuff. We do need to train troops even further, but I'm just gonna wait because they're gonna need to train any damn ways because uh, we're gonna continue making adjustments. I guess one benefit of training them up would be that they would you know, contribute to our, our total army experience here. And you know what? I think we're just gonna deploy these guys too. Uh, we're not gonna build any units right now, guys. Let's just, let's just wait. Yeah, I, mean, I think we should just wait until we get our, our equipment situation kind of fixed. It's we're lacking like a lot of, a lot of equipment right now. Uh, so let's go and make an adjustment here. I think we were working on tanks last last time. So let's go ahead and add to them. In fact, we okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and add the light self propelled artillery first, and then we'll do the how is the organization? Yeah, we should probably do motorized for the last one, and that looks solid. Let's go ahead and save that. And yeah, we only have three experience left, so can't do anything else. Okay, so back on over to China. Just trying to get this battle here won. Having this is taking a long time, man. I almost want to like just speed it up. See if we can't get it going a little bit faster here. Oh, and did Poland create their own faction? Because that would be very, very good. Uh, so we got army innovations. We're gonna take a look at what, what's going on with Poland. Uh, so I think we're gonna demand the Sedaten land now. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do next. We could also befriend China as well to get them those military factories. As I said, I think that would be helpful. Uh, I could do the treaty with the USSR too, uh, and that would be uh, beneficial as well. Uh, but you know what? Let's do the demand the Sudetenland, because I want to see what ends up happening with that. So let's go ahead and knock that one out. And let's take a look. Did they did create their own faction. <laughs> All right, so we'll probably declare war on Poland soon, guys, because, yeah, you can easily conquer them uh, with that, so... Yeah, I think we'll, we'll likely declare war on them because we don't have to worry about the allies joining in. So they'll probably be our next next target. Let's do the Sedaten land one first and see what they say here. See if we can... Uh, I'm pretty sure... I don't remember if they always give up the Sedaten land. I think they can say no. Uh, that does give us that, that uh, steel, though. Not that we need steel, but hurts the, the checks, though, because I'm hoping we don't have to fight them, but if I had to guess, we probably will have to fight them. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, we'll really declare war on Poland, which in, in that case, what I'll end up doing is I'll have to change up these lines a bit, but we'll prepare for that uh, when we get to that point. It's all right. We're not there yet. Uh, so we do have military factories to get assigned, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what do we need the most? It looks like support equipment is really what we're lacking on. So let's do support equipment then. And we'll just put, yeah, we'll just do 12. That's fine. All right. Anything that we have a lot of that we don't need to be building. No, it doesn't look like it. So they're pretty good. Okay. Uh, so we haven't even put the anti-tanks into our, our unit just yet. And the state of Japan just joined the allies. Not surprising. That's what we expected. So the allies are now Japan, France, and Britain. Uh, so definitely something to be aware of uh, the fact that all of our enemies have joined together uh, as of right now uh, with the exception of the Italians and of course the Soviets are already in their own faction so we almost got this one it's taking forever uh, I'm gonna take a guess we're not reinforcing yeah we haven't reinforced just yet uh, so hopefully once they get in there reinforce them then we'll there we go we're pushing them back all right almost there and then we'll uh We'll have to be quick. We'll have to be very quick to try and get through here and take advantage of this. Oh, they went across that river any damn way. All right, that's unfortunate. All right, I actually want them to move across here. So we're not going, instead we'll cut them off this way. I think that'd be the best way to do this. And then we'll, let's just send these guys here now. 
All right, looking pretty good. In fact, I really want the motorized over here, so let's just move the infantry back. And we'll move these guys as well. Over to here. All right, excellent. So we just wait till these guys here leave, uh, and then we'll try to, well, shit, yeah, that'll require us to attack across a river, won't it? All right, that's a shame. They're not as weak as they were. Damn. All right, we'll see if attacking across a river is even viable. I guess we'll try it out. Let's try it out. Looks like it might work. All right, uh, we'll, we'll keep it going then. Let's go and support with those guys. These guys are going over this way, and they can go there, that's fine. So see if we can get a win there. Uh, and unrestricted submarine warfare, excellent. Knock that out. Uh, pretty big bonuses there. We're gonna want to continue going down that, of course, but uh, there's a lot of other stuff we need right now. We got the 1938 text unlocked, so let's go ahead and do the, yeah, I think we're gonna do the infantry one here. That'd be the best one to get right now. Knock that out, 104 days. And yeah, we're, we're about to get these guys wrapped up. I guess we will go ahead and help them because that'll free up some troops here. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and help. I don't think we can actually defeat those guys. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks like they're already retreating there. All right, so we're attempting to try cross that river. Support with these guys. See if they can make it happen. Now they are bringing troops over there, so that's not gonna work. So what we're gonna need to do, let's first pick a tech. So we weren't doing land doctrines anymore and we have the land doctrine bonus. So let's go ahead and go after the elastic defense here. And that also increases the max speed of our tanks and armor variants. So pretty useful. All right, it looks like we will get across the river. Oh yes, that's right, I'm gonna have to. I have to stop this here. Uh, let's see if we, if I get this guy here, how long will it take him? One day and 12 hours. How long do we have? We've got time. All right, because I'm going to try and attack with this guy. Let's see if he, because he's got full strength. Attack him there just to stop him from getting across here. All right, looks like we might even win that. All right, so we're just trying to get across the river so we can just beeline towards that damn capital and just get these guys defeated as quickly as we can. Uh, and there we go. Excellent. Let's go and attack over here. Get those uh, divisions wrapped up. It was three, and yeah, now it's, and yeah, we're done. Excellent. All right, we did get across the river, Excellent. but we, we do have to defend it now. All right, so let's pull this back. We're gonna continue using, I never gave them, did I not give them, I did give them a planning bonus, that's right. What happened was, we completed it, the order. All right, just so they get a planning bonus here, because this is tough for fighting with the terrain and stuff, so I think it would be wise. Let's go and send these guys over here. Let the, we'll have the motorized division continue their attack up that way. And hopefully should have this completed soon. And there is somebody guarding, unfortunately. All right, that's a shame. Let's go and send the fast units over here. All the infantry will come and hold that province for us. And these guys are done as well. Let's go ahead and have, just pull this back. And they can continue going there. That's fine for right now. All right, excellent. So we have gone there. Uh, we can cut off all of their divisions here from the capital by taking that one province there. So we'll go ahead and complete that. And they will attempt to cut us off here. I almost want to let them just so we can get the damn capital, but that does cause us some difficulty if we haven't won here yet, which it doesn't look like we would have. Oh, well, we're getting a guy there. Will he get there in time? Two days and zero hours. Eight, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely get there in time. All right, and he decided to not go that way any damn way. All right, uh, what we'll do is let's have this guy go this way. We'll let him leave. Yeah, I think that'd be beneficial for us if he leaves there. We'll go ahead and grab it. Uh, grab the capital, and I think that should knock them out of the war, guys. If I'm not mistaken. All right, and they're attacking over here, and that's not going to work out for them. Let's see if we can't beat this guy here. Uh, he will get there in one day and 12 hours, and this guy gets there in seven days. Yeah, it's taking them so long to make any kind of movements. All right, we should have that, and there we go. That was all it took. I didn't think we took that province. All right, there we go. So they've been annexed. Now that leaves just uh, communist China. And since the, the lower portion has that nasty river that nobody wants to fight on. Uh, yeah, this will be very beneficial now having the north here. And we've knocked this out fairly quickly, guys. Uh, the war here in China. I'm actually surprised at how quickly we've done this overall. And there we go. Should uh, have the better submarines now. Uh, better torpedoes. Uh, and that'll, I guess that'll affect more than just the submarines, I suppose. And is there any like text that we could really use right here? Probably not. I don't really see anything that we, we've got to have, honestly. I'd prefer to like get the uh, the doctrines. You know, we've gotten ourselves like three of the naval doctrines here while we've only gotten one air doctrine, so let's go after air doctrine, guys. Get that completed. I know we can research the naval doctrine slightly quicker or whatever, but it's fine. All right, let's go and move these guys down here. 
we're gonna try and push forward here. I don't think there's any anybody to stop us. Looks like they're attempting to attack there. Well, that ain't gonna work for them. All right, let's go and move these guys here. Start taking some communist China's territory and get them knocked out of the conflict, and then yeah, they're almost done. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, they might want to conquer these guys next. I'd assume they'll probably attack them, and then after that they'll have control of all of China. All right, did we? Oh, we did take it. All right, we're so damn quick. Look at that. All right, still waiting on infantry division to come down, but it's okay. What we'll do is have these guys move, and then they can just go there. All right, so they're starting to pull back. They're a little bit concerned. Uh, and yeah, these guys are not going to win. Uh, we'll let these tanks go ahead and take that province, though. And we're moving towards the capital uh, pretty close. Uh, they're going to have to start pulling divisions off the front, which will then allow them to, to push forward here, which is pretty uh, helpful considering the fact that they have all those fortifications right there. So they usually have a lot of difficulty right there. Uh, and then, you know what? Let's just go ahead and if they want to take that territory there, they can have it. It's just going to cause them problems. All right, so they're attacking over here. Uh, let's see, where can we attack? We can attack right there. Uh, we got to wait a little bit, though. And yeah, we got to wait till we get these damn infantry divisions over here. All right, that's fine. We can wait. Uh, damn it. Somebody move there. All right, well, we'll attack here. Uh, and Italy just declared war on Yugoslavia. All right, so we're not going to be able to do anything against Yugoslavia now. Uh, it looks like they're going to do it, do it for us. Uh, the Italians are. Well, that's fine. Uh, this makes Italy stronger, and it should make the Allies not look at Italy as like a, uh, you know, they're not the innocent bystander, uh, the innocent uh, victim, I should say, uh, who's uh, going to get conquered by us. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go after Poland next, uh, you know, as I said before. Once again, though, we do have to finish up getting some of these, these national focuses here, and yeah, then we'll go after, we'll start going towards Poland, I think. I think it would be wise to get them knocked out early since they're not going to be able to join the Allies. And we will want to do that treaty with the USSR as well. We can invite Yugoslavia. Oh, we can invite Italy to the faction now. All right, well, we're not going to invite Italy. I'm not interested in it. Yeah. Sorry, Italy. I'm not. It's not with this. You've insulted. You've insulted my cat, dog. Not cool with that. All right, so we're getting more troops down here. And then I'll allow us to push forward. And Yugoslavia joined the Allies. Oh, shit, old sticks. Oh, that's not the way I wanted this to go. Oh, it never goes quite the way you want it to go. So the Italians are now going to find themselves at war with the Allies. Shit. Damn it. All right. Well, I'm not going to let that push me push me into conflict, guys. Yeah, that's a shame. That's not how I wanted that to go. I guess I should have expected it. Yeah, I really should have. All right, so these guys are now cut off. We're going to want to get them destroyed or at least pushed back. And Wow. That is a loud-ass vehicle, isn't it? All right, we're going to go ahead and... All right, it looks like they're going to do that. All right, we'll go ahead and attack these guys then. Try and start, you know, getting them destroyed. And then... Now we just need to get to the damn capital here, uh, which is... causes some problems, I think, uh, trying to get in here, because they got three divisions, and this is a mountain province. Well, we might be able to attack down here and get a victory. Nope, there are fortifications out there. All right, yeah, we're going to see some difficulty here, guys, I think. Let's go ahead and have those guys help out with that attack then. Try and wipe those divisions out. But these troops can. We'd have all five of our divisions on the one front. We'll let them finish that up. And yeah, I think we're going to have some difficulty trying to advance here, guys. We might be able to advance right there. Once again, it's a mountain, so... Yeah, I, I guess we wouldn't attack. And then have... The, oh, that didn't work out. Hold up. Let's send the infantry in. They do the best in the mountains. And then we'll just support with the rest of them. Kind of push them back here. It's not really going to be all that helpful, though, guys. Frankly, we need, we're going to need uh, help from the, the Chinese on this one. Uh, just I, I don't think we'd win there. Even with five divisions against them. They've got those mountain provinces. I, I just don't think that would work out for us. All right, so we can go ahead and make adjustment here. Uh, don't need to get the planes just yet. Not even, not even close close to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and yeah, start getting the military staff filled out then. So we're going to go get our chief of army first. And I know some of you are going to disagree with this because uh, we got some great... Uh, leaders here with the the attack organization. Now nah, that one's not that useful, but the organization attack are obviously ones that are very very good. We're going on army maneuver, guys, because you know I love that speed. I don't care. I don't care if that's maybe not the best choice. It's the best choice because it's what I went for. <laughs> yeah, I know some people aren't going to agree with that, uh, and I can see why you wouldn't want to agree with it. Um, but I really really like the speed. I find it extremely powerful. Uh, it's ridiculously powerful. We are not winning there. All right, 
Maybe we should pull it back then. Yeah, clearly not gonna win there. Let's just pull it back. All right. Well, we don't need to. We don't need to have a division there. So let's just pull that guy back. And yeah, we're gonna have some difficulty. I think wrapping these guys up here. Uh, we got the Munich Conference. Uh, nice. Uh, we just because we just finished up our focus. Uh, so talks have been held in Munich between the leaders of Germany, Britain, France, and Italy to discuss the future of Czechoslovakia. The British and their allies have re both rejected our rightful claims of the Sudetenland, and they have threatened us with war if we violate the Czech border. A plan for the invasion of Czechoslovakia has been drawn up, but this will likely trigger a general European war. We must be certain we are ready for this. All right, so they did deny us on that. That's a shame. So we only get this war keep this war goal until June 1940. I don't think getting into conflict with Czechoslovakia is going to be a problem. Uh, but we have it for a year, though. We're not going to use it. We're going to go uh, against Poland first. I think that would be the easier target because they can't pull the allies in. Uh, so in order to do that, we're probably going to want to do the treaty with the USSR first. We'll get the reassert, reassert Eastern claims and then Danziger War. That's the route we're going to be going, guys. Uh, we could demand Slovenia. Uh, I'm surprised that we can do that. Maybe we, you know what? Actually, we should probably do that because, yeah, they're going to be at war. Or, or excuse me, Yugoslavia is going to be annexed by Italy, and then we won't be able to do it anymore. I think we should go ahead and do this, guys. I, I don't know if they'll, how that'll end up working, but yeah, we do want to go down the rest of this this branch if we can. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that one uh, because yeah, I think that Italy will have that annexed soon. You can see the Italians are already wrapping them up there, uh, so I think that'd be beneficial to get that completed. Uh, we. Are, can stop doing the pilot exercises here. I uh, don't need to do that any longer. We'll just move these guys over to here. In fact, actually, before we do that, let's have them stay here. Uh, move over to this one, actually. That's where we're moving. We're over to, to that one. That's fine. And let's go and increase the, the fighter numbers up over here and the close air support. We're going to do these guys by 50 and these guys by 50 and then get both of them training. All right, make sure that we train. continue to train our planes. Uh, and these guys have a little bit left, so we'll go ahead and let them finish that up. All right, excellent. Uh, we'll take a look at our troops while we're over here. And yeah, we do have a bunch of troops that are done training. Uh, since we know we're not going to war with Czechoslovakia now, uh, or not first anywhere, we're going to be going to war with Poland. We're going to go and get this, this set up here, guys. Uh, we're going to need more troops over to, onto this front, obviously, and we'll just go ahead and take the troops that we have here, in fact, and put them over there now. Uh, and we'll probably put all of them, I think. Yeah, let's do all of them. All right, and then this Red Army here under Manstein is going to be helping out in Poland. Uh, we'll have them cover the southern front. Uh, we need to delete their current front, though. And let's have them cover to right there. And we're just going to just overload... Poland with troops, man. We're just going to send a ton of troops over there. I don't care. <laughs> It'll be a lot of troops, guys. All right. Then we have 11 divisions over here. That's fine. We can always send them a bit more as well. And then we'll have to take this army here. Oh, they did not have as many as I thought they did. All right. Well, it's fine. Uh, we'll send send them some of these training troops over there, I guess. In fact, what we could do is send them. They don't need, they don't need all these divisions. Uh, and then once we get them on their fronts, we're going to start training them too, since they are lacking uh, in a little bit of training. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a few of these guys. And, and actually, I think we put all of our mountain troops over here, didn't we? Did. All right, we don't need all these mountain. Let's put them over here then. So move the mountain troops there. And then we'll take some of the troops that are in this army here and move them over to the Red Army. Just a couple, I suppose. Uh, kind of get a little bit even for right now. Yeah, let's just move a couple, a couple infantry divisions. There we go. All right, looks pretty squared away. Uh, and we will want to give them training order. Or, or excuse me, a planning order. And that's fine. We're not going to let the AI control it. We'll be controlling it ourselves. The invasion of Poland. So it doesn't matter if that's not optimum. Uh, of course, this did not work out well for us. It's not surprising. Uh, you know, the Allies are already at war. And... Huh. What was that about? All right, so we lost the captain of industry. Oh, yeah, you don't get that once you do the demand the city and land. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so next time we get a bit of power here, we'll have to get somebody else. That's okay, guys. I'm going to let my organization get up here. We're going to attempt to attack with all five divisions, see if we can get a win there. 
probably won't be able to. We can also attack over this way as well, if need be, with the three divisions here, and then see if that will uh, let us complete it. Uh, we did get this tank finished up, excellent. Let's go and move him over to, how many do we have on this front here? 17. Uh, does it look like they have enough to cover the front? They do not, we're gonna have to move another division over there. I, I doubt, I mean, it's not like Czechoslovakia is gonna declare war on us. But we have a lot of troops over here, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I think it'll be fine. How many troops do the, the Polish have? Oh, okay. They got a few. All right, but we'll have control of the skies. And they, they of course, have to watch the Polish borders well. We have unassigned divisions. Oh, yeah. You know what? I completely forgot about building divisions with there <laughs> for them. Uh, all right, well, what we'll do is we'll just get another little training army over here. And then we're just going to set these guys to, to train here. Exercise. Uh, so we'll train these guys. Actually, I'll move them over there. Or move them over to the capital, I suppose. On the railroads. So yeah, we could be using their manpower uh, to build troops. I hadn't even really thought about that. I, I guess it doesn't matter because we're about to have the manics. Oh yeah. All we need is the political power right now. Are we building anymore? We're not building over there. All right, so yeah, we just need the political power and then we can annex them. Excellent, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just have to save our political power up for a little while and then, then we'll get it completed. I'm glad that we're able to get it done before the war started, or I, I should say, I think we'll get it done before the war starts. Uh, so yeah, that's right. We got the radar stations they're building now. Uh, air bases are, you know, they're pretty good. You could build a few more here on the Western Front, I suppose. Uh, but you know, we're not that far from the, you know, pretty far from the war still, I'd say. So, so let's just, uh, let's just build more military factories. Or we can build more dockyards so we can maybe get some more submarines built. You know what? We'll do, we'll do some more dockyards. I feel like we don't have enough dockyards. And we'll build them on this side, I think. All right. So we'll build three more dockyards for right now. And, uh... Yeah, that should uh should help out our navy. Damn, they got four divisions there now. Shit. All right. Well, let's try and attack here. I don't think this is going to work. We'll try it though. All right, maybe. It does seem like they were trying to pull back over here. We could not defeat those guys there. Yeah, this is not going to work. All right, let's just pull back. Clearly not going to work out. And we'll let our organization get back up. Maybe we'll attack over this way. See if this would work. This one would work. So we'll push them back. That does. It's not exactly positive though. That's more troops that are gonna be able to get, guard the capital. Yeah, it's gonna be problematic trying to trying to conquer the capital here. But eventually they will they'll lose. Yeah, they, you can see they're taking attrition. Uh, so they'll lose their manpower. They lose their equipment. Uh, they, well, they have a lot of manpower. Uh, let me just make sure there's nobody else I can bite. Yep, just Italy. Uh, Italy's probably in over their head right now. Uh, yeah, they are uh, fighting France over here on the border. The, you know, both sides are gonna lose a lot of a lot of men there. Uh, they're trying to fight Yugoslavia over here. Of course, they got the British in the sea. Uh, so yeah, the Italians are, I guess they're they're getting the allies started for us. Uh, so I, I was not expecting that development. Uh, not exactly a good development. Yeah, because I was thinking 1939, that was when we were gonna go to war. Uh, we did wrap these guys up over here, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and, good God. They've already defeated them there. Uh, I guess we'll just attempt a, an attack here again. I don't think this is gonna work, but we'll try it anyway. See how it goes. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I guess we'll have to like get them completely surrounded. Yeah, I think that's the only way to really do it. But I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, we'll just have to get them completely surrounded. Let's go ahead and actually have this built out like so then. Have one division in each province. We did get the improved infantry equipment one. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do. Oh, we're done over here. Fantastic. Uh, I guess we we're done with the 1938 tax, aren't we? Yeah. I want to say we are. So we can work on um, you know naval tax here, or we can work on I guess doctrines would be the most beneficial thing. Like get the wolf packs next. Yeah, because we're doing air doctrines and we're doing land doctrines. Yeah, I guess wolf packs would be the one that we want to get next. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we will get the bonus for the uh, submarine surface detection, the raiding efficiency, submarine organization, and torpedo reveal chance reduced. Fantastico. In fact, I want to go ahead and use the experience for that. We're never going to have, we're never going to use all that naval experience, guys. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's spend it. Although it might not let me. And then we'll have to, like, I think you gotta do it that way. All right, so we'll get that much, much quicker now. I think the reason why I'm moving them all over here is I think we're gonna try and attack right there. I don't know how many divisions are there. 
we'll see how many divisions are in these two provinces. Let's see if we can't, like, I guess get, get them all into one province or something. I don't know, man. Take that one, I guess. I mean, either way, we got to take the, the capital. So, yeah, this isn't really helping us. Uh, we'll we'll do what we can, guys. I uh, just uh, kind of not all that interested. <laughs> all right, we can go stay here. Yeah, not all that interested in attempting to to get this this done here, man. This is just gonna be uh it's gonna be difficult. Uh, we did get uh, some more civilian factories. Uh, those those military factories actually have been completed. All right, so what do we want to go ahead and get next? Let's go and do more military factories, guys. That's what we need. All right, so we're building the. 80% locations that are still left. And then we'll just do it. Wait a minute. Could build over there in Holland, I suppose. All right, that looks good for now. All right, so yeah, just kind of stuck here uh, trying to get these. I mean, we could, I think we can attack from all the provinces we're in right now. Keep on sending them. It is green. Yeah, maybe we'll get it done. I don't know, it's red now. I guess we'll see, but let's keep on attacking. See how this goes. See if we can push it back. Uh, obviously, they're taking attrition, and uh, I think equipment will become a major issue. They do still control the state, though, so they still do have you know all the factories that they uh, they typically do. So, so yeah, I mean, it's I guess it doesn't really matter. These guys can hold out a really long time here. Uh, we'll just have to keep on attacking, trying to exhaust them, I guess. And yeah, I mean, it's 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 green. That's not too bad. All right, let's take a look and see what we want to get next. We're getting these research, uh, the research done fairly quickly. Uh, do we want to go ahead and, uh, you know what? I don't think I want to focus anymore on, on naval uh, naval doctrines other than this branch here. We're just going to try and get this one done. Uh, we might eventually go down the rest of these, but there's so much other stuff to, to get. Uh, so I think we should prioritize those. And if we're going to do naval anything, we should do some naval techs for our ships so that when we... Uh, if we want to design some some nice cruisers, we can do that. Uh, I don't know that we're going to do destroyers. I think we're going to be focusing on on cruisers because we get a lot of bonuses in the trade interdiction for uh, cruisers. So yeah, we'd probably want to go with uh, some cruisers. In which case, we'd need a few things for them. Let's take a look. Uh, you know what? Let's go and get the the firefighting drills. Those critical hits can take absolutely forever to repair. They take a really long time. In fact, again, and I, I should have used, just to make this go a little bit faster. Let's go and change this up. I don't like that you, you gotta do it this way, but yeah, it's the way you gotta do it. Oh my god, I am selecting everything but the one I want to. Yeah, I think that'd be worth the experience. We have a we have a lot of naval experience, guys. Uh, I did want to take a look and make sure. Yep, our ships are all good, excellent, and they're doing their thing. Uh, what we will go ahead and do is take this battleship that we got completed, and we're gonna put him into his own and put him into that fleet there, because you can see we are starting to use a little bit too much fuel here. Uh, so we'll take any. Uh, I think that was the only capital ship we had, so that should should help those battleships be soaking up a ton of ton of fuel. Uh, so we got computing machines done, excellent. Let's go ahead and get the. Do encryption. And put this shit on speed five, man. And we'll just like slowly like send them in as they pull back. Make sure that we're always attacking. Eventually we'll get it done, guys. Eventually. <laughs> Alright, the LR dudes pulled back there for a second. We weren't, we're not reinforcing quick enough. The fourth international. Uh, we do got free dockyards. Uh, let's go and get these assigned. Uh, okay, we completed that ship that we had. All right, awesome. Uh, so what we want to, to do now is, I, I think we'll probably put these all into submarines here so we can get them built as quickly as possible. Yeah, we'll do that. Just focus on submarines for a little while. Try and get a bunch of them. Because as of right now, we don't have anywhere near enough. And of course, all the ones we have are all older models. I'm just going to take all of you guys. Attack. All right, so hopefully she'll get it complete. Uh, the goal here is to get into 1939, guys. Uh, and we got our focus done. London, Great London Conference was supposed to right one of the many wrongs that have been done to Germany. The French, though, still thirst for revenge. Uh, so, yeah, we got the, the war goal against them. So, yeah, they're just going to deny, deny everything, uh, unfortunately. I was hoping we would get it. Uh, but, yeah, they're, they're at a point that they're just going to... Uh, they're just gonna, that, that does stop us from being able to do any of these as well. Italy really fucks some shit up because uh, I don't think they would have done that if they weren't at war right now. Uh, so with Italy, yeah, damn you, Italy. Damn you. 
<laughs> they messed it all up. All right, so yeah, it kind of ended up screwing us more than anything else. I almost want to go declare war in Italy now, too, since we know that they're at war with it. the... Yeah, hmm. And they're going to be defeated anyway. they got a wide-open border. Yeah, we'll do up Poland first, of course, but Italy might be the next uh, the next uh, problem that needs to be dealt with. Let's do the treaty with the USSR. And, uh, yeah, and we'll be uh, declaring war on Poland here soon. And crisis in Slovenia. Yeah, this is going to take a while, guys. Yeah, this is going to take a long while. We just got to burn them out, man. Let's keep on attacking, but you can see, like, all of it. They did win there. Yeah. Okay. So now we got them completely surrounded. And this is going to be really challenging, man. Get this completed. It's 15 divisions. Good God. Yeah, this is going to be super slow. All right, so we don't actually want to do this here because remember we want to annex them. And in order to annex them, we need uh, 137 more. So quite a bit more. So we're gonna have to wait and I want to get those guys annexed. Uh, so we'll just let that sit for now. Uh, and we can go ahead and get the military factories, and civilian factories assigned though. So we'll do that now. And uh, we're gonna put these into, uh, we might actually start being able to build units now as well. I don't know how we're looking. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Let's go and start building units again. All right, so we're gonna build, um, do we? Yeah, these guys are not ready yet. We won't build them. All right, so we want uh, post pouncers, of course. Uh, we do have a training army, so let's go ahead and put them into the training army. Though they might actually be done, we might need to take a look at those. Uh, so let's get a few of these guys. Oh, that's all she wrote there. Uh, let's get some tanks going. We'll do like five for right now. I feel like uh, the we have quite a few SS. I don't think we're going to get any more of those right now. Uh, we're, we're short motorized as well. We need those to go to the, the tanks. We have a lot of army experience. I should be making adjustments here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. I didn't realize that we we're sitting on so much of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the field hospitals into here. Uh, we've already finished their design here for the 20 width anyway. We might end up increasing it to 40 width in time, but right now we're, you know, obviously we got equi equipment issues, so I don't think that would be wise. Uh, and then we're going to do, should probably do support anti tanks here, since we don't have any anti tank support here. And. If they have to fight any medium tanks, they won't do so well. So I think that's exactly what we'll do. This looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save that. Uh, and then we're also going to want to probably change up the... Finish up the Pussy Pouncers, perhaps. Or we can finish up the, the SS here. I don't know how they're looking. They're actually looking decent. Uh, yeah, we'll want to get them some... Hmm. I think if you give them the light self-propelled artillery, it'll actually slow them down. Might be wrong, though. No, it doesn't slow them down. Okay, so yeah, we can give them some light self-propelled artillery. I think that's exactly what we'll end up doing here. Uh, so we'll want to want to pull some of these guys out, like so. And we will get 40 width divisions, guys, in time. Uh, it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be early on here that we get them. Oh damn, we ran out. All right, huh? How much experience do I have? We have 15. All right, I guess I did too much. What did I change? Hmm, yeah, I don't know exactly what I did there. Uh, oh, started a new line. That's right. All right, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that's the 20 experience. We don't have enough experience to do that right now. Yeah, that's good for right now. We'll spend the experience a little bit later, guys. Let's let them do their thing there. Uh, remember, we do still need to train all these guys up, but once again, we're pretty far off from the war with China, so or with uh, Poland, so I'm not too worried about it. I know it'll get us experience, but it's fine. I kind of just want to... Concentrate on getting this done. Oh shit, I didn't sign all these. I thought I did. All right, my bad, guys. My bad. All right, well, we got the dockyards done. Uh, let's just do more military factories. That's what we really need right now. Try and get this equipment situation handled. Yeah, we're just going to build a ton of military factories all over the damn place. All right, looks pretty good. Uh, and let's get these military factories assigned as well. Uh, I want to say... We're lacking just about everything at this point now. Uh, I should probably get the infantry equipment going. Uh, support equipment's pretty bad too, as is light self-propelled. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and put these guys up to 15. We're gonna put the infantry equipment up to 10. And then we're gonna pull from artillery since it's looking pretty stacked. Probably give a bit more to the towed anti-tanks here. It's pulled from light tanks because they're getting in a good spot now have some going over here and that looks pretty good we never really built the air force up enough either We're trying to get the land land forces done uh you know what we'll do we'll go ahead and get them them assigned uh now all right so that's pretty good for right now 
God, we just need to get this fucking thing done. I don't know how much equipment we're throwing away on this fucking conflict, man. If we could just get some of them, like, uh, to retreat, man. Or not retreat, but, you know, get overrun. Looks like we did. We overran one of them. Uh, so this is how we'll slowly get them defeated. Now they're down to 12. All right. Of course, every time we attack and shit, a lot of these guys aren't reinforcing. Uh, donations for the United States. Some leading members of the Silver Legion of America have been on a lecture tour through the German Reich, talking at length about the threat their country faces from well-entrenched communists in all levels of government. The American way of life is under attack, and any kind of support we could render would be greatly appreciated and might make the difference in the sadly necessary struggle about to come. So they're going to be having their civil war soon. Uh, we, can, we must do what we can. That costs us political power. Uh, and then we'll... Give them one off map, one off map civilian factory. So yeah, that's what we'll do. Help them out. I am a little bit worried about the Americans and the Italians joining in a faction together too. That would be disastrous. Uh, let's take these guys, put them into this training army over here. Those guys training up. Okay. So uh, that's right. We're waiting on the mod to, we're waiting to modify the government. That's gonna mess me up every time I see it, guys. I already know. It's going to be sitting there staring at it. So, yeah, trying to get to 1939. Just keep on getting these attacks done. And I should be, instead of sending all of them, I should be focusing on sending, like, troops that still have, like, a bit of organization left. Oh, well, all of them do. All right, so we got them down to 11 now. This is this is going to be a long, long arduous Argen process, guys. It's going to take a while. Uh, firefighting drills have been knocked out. Awesome. And we got encryption. All right, so we've got another naval tech done. We're almost to 1939. I say let's go ahead and start working on 1939 techs, guys. Uh, yeah. I think it's it's close enough at this point uh, that I'm willing to, to start doing them. Yeah. It's better than getting like, naval techs right now. Yeah, we're already walked in, working on the land and, and air doctrine. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and start getting the uh, concentrated industry three. It's gonna be a few extra days or whatever, but you know we're doing it two months early. I think it's worth it. Uh, and then yeah, let's get decryption as well. All right, lovely. Okay, so uh, these guys are ready to attack. Let's lock. Oh, and there we go. Civil war has happened. I, I kind of want to get this one finished up, and then we're just gonna send these troops right over. If we can still send five, uh, if we can send six, I guess we'll give them another division. But yeah, we're just going to send the same damn division over there. Uh, same damn troops over there. Uh, Elastic Defense has been knocked out. Uh, that is awesome. So we're going to go down the Blitzkrieg. Uh, I really I want to make some badass armor divisions, guys. So yeah, we're going to go down that. We're about to get the Wolf Packs knocked out, too. Awesome. And uh, it looks like we've taken it. Fantastic. So we'll get those guys back. Because, yeah, China is now done in all their conflicts. Uh, so we'll get them back, and then we'll probably just send them right on over to America. Oh, whoa. Huh. That's interesting. Alright, so here's the Silver Legion of America. They're not aligned. I've never seen the fascist, uh, the fascist Civil War. I've only seen the communist side, obviously, in that campaign we did. So I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. This is not the way I expected it to go. They're not even that, that, that fascist. They're only 37%. Uh, so yeah, they had the Civil War start out, and the, the Constitutionalists are only right here, which is odd. I imagine it's going to break apart a bit more. I think we're going to see some more powers pop up over here. Second American Civil War. Yeah, there we had Constitutionalists have gotten uh, the uh, Pacific Coast as well. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we should see... I don't know. Let me just take a look here. How many troops they have. They're about even on division numbers. All right, so our volunteers get back on the 21st of November, so we're going to start helping America out. That's the one I really wanted to help out in. Uh, and then we'll be helping them until we get the claim against Poland, in which case then we'll be going to, to war with Poland. Uh, you know, I'm not going to wait. Uh, I'm not going to have that wait that war wait while we, uh, you know, help the Americans out. Nope. I think it's too important that we get involved. I'm gonna send, we're just going to kind of spread these guys out a little bit. And then we're going to send uh, one over there. And then I think the last one can go over there as well. doesn't matter. All right. Awesome. So, taking a look at our troops here. Uh, let me see if I can get some more going. Nah, it doesn't look like we have the equipment. All right, that's unfortunate. Uh, unfulfilled import requests. Who is jipping me? Also, we're trading for stuff here we don't need. So I'm gonna pull that back. Uh, who's screwing me over? Oh, the Americans. All right, I guess that's, that's expected. Uh, yeah, they don't have 
the resources we need. All right, well, it's a shame. Uh, I guess we'll just trade with somebody else for it. Uh, yeah, we'll have to trade with. Let's take a look. I guess we'll trade with China. All right, have good trade relations. And I think, yeah, we're just good on everything else. All right, so I think these guys right, here so are just about done training. Uh, these guys here are done training. Okay, let's go ahead and have them... Uh, now I don't know what all these armies sitting around here for are. All right, so these guys are this army here. Uh, and I think we actually could go ahead and send some more divisions. Oh, we're going to need to. Wow. Look at all those troops they got over here. We got, like, no chance of winning there, guys. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to send more troops over here if we actually want to take this over. Yeah, they got a lot of divisions here, guys. I was not expecting those kind of numbers. Okay, then. Hmm. And, and then this guy is going to be like a... a defensive force. I think they can join this army. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's just going to be like a defensive force for colonies. So yeah, we'll go ahead and put them into that colonial defense force. Once again, we'll be managing all of our, our stuff here a little bit later. So we're... we're These are guys that are from China, so we're going to go ahead and put them in America, I assume. Let's just go ahead and move them over here so I know where they're at for right now. Let's take a look and see if we have any... We do have some. Okay. So we do have some fighters and stuff that we can probably go ahead and train up. Uh, these guys, close air support, we're still waiting on three more. So we'll keep them training for now. Uh, and then I think these guys, they were still waiting on the close air support there as well. We can go and pull these guys, uh, stop them from training. And then let's go ahead and do another air wing of fighters. Uh, they're interwar fighters, but it's okay. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. We do... We got tactical bombers we can, we can train. Let's go ahead and do that then. Do we have naval bombers? We do. We got naval bombers to train too. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get some naval bombers over here. It looks like we were actually already training some. Uh, in fact, let's just go ahead and get them all the way up to 150 then. Oops. I didn't do it. All right. There we go. We'll get them up to 200. That's what I meant to say. All right. So that looks that looks good. We'll keep them exercising. And I know I've been like needlessly exercising people on some of these planes. It's fine. Our, our stockpiles are okay, I suppose, with the fuel. Alright. So, what were we doing? We're going to have to send them some troops. I hope we can send some troops to some of our colonies before uh, before we go to war with the Allies. I guess we'll just have to see how that ends up going, guys. Uh, when do we get these guys here again? 21st. Alright, so we're going to send those over to America. That's what we'll be doing next episode. We'll be getting involved in the American Civil War, helping them out over there. Uh, so I, I, I think we will go ahead and continue all the way down here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and keep on getting these because they're so useful. Uh, and we're just going to make some badass submarines, guys. All right. And we got the treaty with the USSR done. Excellent. We'll have to see what they say to that there. And could get the army innovations to get that last land doctrine, you know, the, the last bonuses that we'll get towards land doctrines. But I'm really ready to go ahead and start messing with Poland, man. So let's go ahead and get this done, guys. Let's go ahead and start this. And we need to get a war started here. And they're just getting more powerful as we wait. Uh, so might as well. And Zog submits to Italy. Soviets accept the German-Soviet treaty. Uh, so that's awesome. It's going to give us some research bonuses for armor technology. In fact, we might want to go ahead and start working on those uh, when we get something open because I think that's a head of time penalty reduction. And, well, we're almost, shit, we're almost in 1939 any damn ways. Yeah. All right, so the troops have returned. Could have sent some other ones, but I think we'll just keep this because they're already all trained up over here. Uh, do we want to keep Rommel in charge? Yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep Rommel in charge, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and contact the loyalists. And see if they want our volunteers. Oh, we can send six now. Okay. Uh, I was thinking that, that that might have been increased since we had built more divisions since then. So we need to give them one more army, or one more division, excuse me. Uh, let's do, I guess we'll do one from over here. Uh, and do we want to go ahead and do another tank unit? Get a, yeah, we'll do a tank unit. Sure, why not? Uh, the tanks are better now. So let's give them a tank unit. We'll have two of each. Uh, two of each division type. All right, so yeah, we'll send these guys over there. And give them six divisions. And this should be pretty helpful, I think, for them. Um... All right. So we know that they're going to agree to that. And they will be there in December. 5th of December. Okay. I'm going to try and help them out here. Because uh, I can't really tell if they're losing territory or not. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, the Constitutionalists have gained a lot of territory now. They really just have the South. All right. It's a lot different than the Civil War for uh, the Communists. So this is the first time I'm seeing this. And Yugoslavia has already capitulated. All right, so the Italians have defeated them. 
Remember, they don't get to annex any of that, of course, because they got to defeat the allies now. And did they lose in... Oh, yeah, they lost in Africa already. All right, so the Italians are uh, really uh, ruin, ruining things, man. They're messing up the campaign. <laughs> Dicking shit up, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try and take the territory up this way. Uh, focus on getting, like, Boston, Washington, D.C., uh, yeah, I think that would be the uh, best thing to do here. They have a lot of troops that are currently cut off. Actually, rescuing some of these divisions might be imperative to their success. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Fuck shit, Private. If we don't rescue these guys, they're going to lose. Okay, so... Basically, I've, I've got to go save. Save these motherfuckers, man. So what we'll do is we're going to take two divisions... And have them take the railroads up here. And hopefully that'll be enough to to reconnect these troops here. And also to cut off these two sides. Uh, they won't be cut off because they have the ports, of course. But, yeah, I, I feel like we got to go help them over there. Because, uh, yeah, this is kind of a mess. All right, so let's go and have these guys go over here now. And try and take Washington to see. I would imagine there's somebody there right now. We just can't see. No, we would be able to see them. The Americans must have already... Yeah, they already beat them, I think. All right, I think our motorized will actually get there first. All right, we're the first to enter Washington, D.C. Why don't you look at that? All right, uh, and then we're going to try and tack up this way once these guys leave here. Uh, let's just go ahead and have some of these troops wrap up over here then. And you guys go over here. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, and I want to see if we can invite Bulgaria into the faction. All right, I wasn't going to invite Bulgaria. I was going to let the Italians have Bulgaria. But, oh shit, if they're not going to they're not gonna get it done, man. Just taking a look here. Oh, we can't see what they're doing now. I mean, sure, why not? They'll probably get pulled out, because I want to say they get... Yeah, we'll invite them. Might as well, because um, the Italians are done for, man. This is going to result in the Bulgarians getting defeated by the, the Allies. Probably fairly quickly. All right, so they've accepted. They don't want to join the Italian faction, because they don't want to fight the Allies. All right, so we did get there before them. Awesome. Uh, though, eh, it's not entirely a good thing. Now that I think about it, uh, we can attack them over here. Let's try and get Baltimore, too. Uh, let's let them exhaust themselves, and then we'll attack them when they're weak. As soon as they're done with that attack, and there we go. Attack. And then we're going to grab Baltimore up. There we go. We should probably slow this down. It's going incredibly fast. Uh, and we can now go ahead and... Or we should be able to annex them. I thought we'd be able to annex them. Uh, apparently, that's not the case. Hmm. Why can I not uh, demote him? It says zero. Needed to demote him. Huh. You know what, guys? I, I cannot tell you why I can't demote them. <laughs> if you happen to know, I'd love to hear it. We're not at war. It wouldn't matter anyway. You can still annex when you're at war. I'm not entirely sure why we can't demote, uh, can't uh, annex those guys. That's uh, really, really strange. Hmm. Yeah, and I guess that, that explains why it wasn't popping up over here either. I was wondering why once we hit 300, it didn't pop up. Okay, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'd love to hear you guys' comments, though, I don't because I don't really know what the problem is there. All right, well, let's go ahead and... Uh, we've got Baltimore. Let's go and... We'll let these guys actually attack down that way, and then we'll, we'll get them cut off. Let's go and push up this way. Uh, it's wide open for us, guys. Let's go and get Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, there's nobody here to really stop us. Let's go and take the Northeast, get control of this territory over here. I bet these troops are... Whoa, where the... What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, I don't know what the hell's going on, guys. I mean, I guess we could just go and try and beeline towards victory points or whatever. That 3% towards capitulation are currently the loyalists. Of are. Look at how many casualties they face. Good God. I don't think the loyalists are going to win this, guys. Unless we were just able to just seize a ton of victory points. Yeah, you know what? We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to take these motorized and, and beeline up to Chicago. I was going to help these guys out, but they've already lost. And yeah, they pretty much already lost. Well, I guess we can bring the infantry over there and see if they can... Yeah, I just don't see us being able to do anything over here, guys. That's yeah, a shame. Yeah, they mucked that all up. Yeah, they're just getting the whole territory over here taken. All right, well, what we'll do is we'll just try and... Uh, we'll take Chicago. Uh, get Chicago into our hands. And then we'll help out over here, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to... Pff, fuck, man. I guess we're a little rock for right now. Yeah, this is going to be problematic. I mean, we'll try and get uh, the Northeast under our hands uh, as quickly as possible. Wipe all these troops out. But you know what, guys? I feel like uh, these guys are going to lose. Uh, 30 to 82 divisions. 
27 to 44. And this is Douglas MacArthur. Ah, oh, MacArthur's in control here. Who's in control of the... Oh, of course, yeah, FDR. So yeah, that didn't go quite the way I was expecting it to go. Huh. All right. So uh, yeah, I don't really know what to what to say, guys. That's uh, not going going very well. All right. So that is actually gonna be the end of the episode. And I said we get to 19:30. Now we're close enough, guys. We are close enough. Uh, we could actually stop these guys from training here. We're just waiting. I'm just keeping it because we have divisions to deploy here. Uh, so that's the reason why we're keeping that going. Uh, and yeah, this is uh, the situation is changing quite quickly. Uh, for instance, just the Allies have pumped so many divisions over to here, a lot more than I was expecting them to have. Uh, so this is going to be a much harder to take over, I think, than, than I was initially anticipating. Uh, I was thinking this was going to be pretty easy. Uh, I don't think that's the case any longer. Uh, you know, the Italians are, are yeah, I just, I, don't, I just don't know what's going to happen with the Italians and the French right now. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, it never goes quite the way you'd plan, which is why I love the game. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.